Cisco Discovery Protocol is a great protocol, one of my favorites. And we have to understand that it's given out a lot of information, too much. It gives out your operating system, your chassis version. It's just too much. So how do we constrain where CDP goes? Well, there's really two commands. You should know these. You've got to know how to control CDP. What are they? How do you turn it off globally? How do you turn it off on an interface? These commands need to be at your, your fingertips. Let's do it. Let's go to ASW1. I'll do a show CDP. To turn it off globally, no CDP run. And if you're doing this for LLDP, it would be no LLDP run. Same things I'm telling you about CDP hold true for CDP. It's not running now. So there's no risk of exposure. But we like CDP. We like LLDP. So what we want to do is this. We might want to run CDP, but then control it for interfaces. I don't want it, for instance, to be running on my ports at the access layer. So we say no CDP enable. And if it were LLDP, we'd say no LLDP enable. And I'm not running LLDP, so that it's just good. Turn it off that way. It's nice that we can actually affect it in both the send and receive. So you could say, I'll receive it, but I'm not going to transmit it out. We're not running LDP right now. So that is how you control CDP. Turn it off, at least trim it from the perimeter. Like you got ports that are going down to, to cubicles or your lobby. You have to turn off CDP into a port that is going to a really exposed location like a port going to your lobby. It's just too easy to get connectivity there.